can we expect from Go Gorilla Music? You can expect a lot, man. You can expect a lot of creativity, a lot of hard work, a lot of everything, man. But most of all, a lot of hate music, a lot of Go Gorilla Music. What's different about you than any other artist? Um, what's different about me? Like, I'm a gorilla, man. I'm not human. And I say that as far as mentality, I mean, I'm different. I'm different in, like, everything I do, I do hard. Pause. <laughs> but, um, yeah. How did you come up with the whole A-Plan theme? A-Plan, actually, A-Plan is an acronym. It's not, people confuse it to be this one whole, like, name, one whole word. But, um, A-Plan is an acronym standing for always progressing every day, live and never doubt. You know what I mean? And I just made it into one word to make it sound cool and easy to say. A lot of your songs, you know, you've done reggae, a lot of old school R&B. What sound are you are you going for with this mixtape? Mm, what sound am I going for? I'm going for a, a different sound as far as a little bit of the old school vibe but with the new school flow. And a little bit of my potion in it, if you will. I had to sprinkle a little bit of floss in that. Like, who are you work with for this mixtape? This mixtape is all me, but like the majority of the mixtape was produced by Bun B. I mean, shout outs to H Town, Houston. I see you, Kirko. I see you. Yeah. Why Halloween? Why October thirty first? Out of every day you could have chose to release this mixtape, why October thirty first, two thousand twelve? Uh, I chose Halloween as a release date for Go Gorilla Music because Halloween is recognized by everyone. Whether you believe in it or not, it's recognized by everyone. So I wanted that day to just be like, yeah, it's about candy and it's about getting your, your outfit on as far as your costume. But more so, it's about the release of Go Gorilla Music, man. For real. If you could pick one song on the mixtape, that sums up what the, what the whole entire mixtape is about, what song would that be? That explains everything. It's a track called RSP, which stands for Real Shit Player. That kind of sums up everything, the whole purpose for this mixtape. But off topic, as far as my favorite track, my favorite track on this whole mixtape would have to be Sex Tape. Yeah. Look out for that. Ladies, sex tape is definitely it. I'm telling you. Are you getting the whole mixtape towards the sex? Like, are you trying to take people to the club, to the bedroom? Like, where are you trying to take the ladies with this project? Oh, uh, man. I'm not really trying to take everybody down the sex road with this mixtape, but I'm trying to... It's a little bit of everything. It's, it's sex. It's relationship. It's about being an underdog and actually finally getting somewhere, finally being successful. It's everything, money, fake friends, just going hard with what I do, everything. Okay. Who are your top five favorite rappers that are alive? <laughs> My top five, Biggie, Slick Rick, Kirk Bangs, Andre 3000, and myself. Myself, I would have to say myself, not to sound cocky, but like I, I, I feel the stuff that I say, which is why I, I say it, I guess. Yeah. From a fan con, from a fan perspective, like from the outside looking in, it seems to be a void in music, in music in general, especially like rap. You know, a lot of people are really taking like the gangster rap route. You know, there's not so many people that's talking about love or happiness or trying to, you know, you know, go to the club and, you know, have fun, you know. Why did you why did you choose that route? I mean, the route I chose was different. Like everybody wants to talk about, you know, guns this, drugs that, but I haven't lived that lifestyle. Like that's not me. So I speak about sex more so because I'm accustomed to that. I have relevancy in that department and relationships. So I only rap what I know about. Hold up.